Oh my gosh, it's recording. Okay. So, today, everyone, is a special day. It's a day where I actually have something planned. So, today, I'm going to be doing the accent challenge. If you don't know what that is, it's, it's tell if I have an accent, or, yeah, and I have to, let me just read it. It's like the Tumblr accent challenge. It says, your name and username, my name is Connor, my Tumblr username is Connor1342. It's very original. And I'm from Alberta. Pronounce the following words. So I have to pronounce these words, and I'm going to try to like write it as I'm pronouncing it in the, right here. So then it looks cool, and then you know what words I'm trying to pronounce. Okay, so the first word is aunt, roof, route, theater, iron, salmon, caramel, fire, water, New Orleans, pecan, both, again, Alabama, lawyer, coupon, mayonnaise, or mayonnaise, pajamas, cot, naturally, aluminum, gif, tumbler, crackerjack, doorknob, envelope, and G-Poy? What's G-Poy? G-P-O-Y? I don't know. What is it called when you throw toilet paper on a house? I like to call it littering, littering, but it's also called teepeeing, like a teepee at house, like, you know? That's what I call it. What is bubbly, bubbly, what is a bubbly carbonated drink called? It's called pop, everyone. You might call it soda in where you come from, but it's pop. It's definitely pop. Just let me know. What do you call gym shoes? Um, I like to call them runners. Cause you run in them. What do you call your grandparents? I call my grandparents, um, grandma and grandpa. Or gramps and gram. I don't know. I don't call my grandma gram. I don't think I ever have. I just came up with that. It's the truth. What do you call the wheeled contraption in which you carry groceries at the supermarket? A grocery cart? I think that's what they're asking. I call it a grocery cart. Like a cart that carries groceries. What is the thing you change on the TV? What, do, what is the thing you change the TV channel with? Um, a remote control? Yeah. The, the clicker? I don't know. I call it whatever. I call it that thing with buttons. Choose a book and read a passage from it. I don't think I have any books in my room. Because I'm illiterate. Um, one sec. I found this book. It's The Star Wars Essential Guide to Alien Species. Yes, because I am that cool. And I have this book. How long is a passage? Just like a sentence? Paragraph? I'm gonna read on this guy. See him? I'm gonna read about him. Ewok. Ewoks are small furry sentient sentients who inhabit the forest moon of Endor, a world circling a gas giant near an area of galaxy known as Wild Space. Well, Imperial propaganda depicted them as having wiped out after the Battle of Endor. The species lives on in the wooded home, a lush environment alive with thick vegetation and myriad forms of wildlife. The moon's low axle tilt and its regular orbit around the gas giant create an extraordinary temperature climate. Trees 300 meters tall 
cover the moon and are central to the landscape for this reason they are central to Ewok culture and religion. You just learned a little thing about Ewoks. Do you think you have an accent? I think I have an accent, but I don't think it's like a Canadian accent. I think it's just like an accent that I came up with when I was a little kid. Cause I, cause I kind of talked in like, like I made up like my own type of accent when I was a little kid. Like, I don't know. Like I talk like, it's weird. Um, be a wizard or a vampire. Um, I'd rather be a wizard. I'm not gonna lie. Being a vampire kind of seems like a curse. Unless you're Edward, and then you get all the, all the ladies. Right? All those Twilight fans. Ah, uh, but seriously, if I could be a wizard, I would be like Harry Potter, and I'd be like... Specto Charmus, or whatever spell they use in that, in that movie. Yeah, and I'd sentence everyone to prison, the prison of Azkaban. I'd sentence everyone there, I'd be like, you know what? You looked at me funny, you're going there. Do you know anyone on Tumblr in real life? I know my friend that I followed because she told me to. End audio post by saying three words you want. You are the... Dang it. No. I love you. No, that's too corny. Good... Wait. I'll see ya later. See ya is one word. See ya. That's one word. Okay. So. I'll see you guys later. Oh, and my friends wanted me to give them a shout out. There's three people. There's one. There's two. One's named Megan. Hey, Megan. Hey, Don. One's Louise. And one is my friend Amber. She wanted a shout out. She said she'd be really happy if I gave her one. So this is your shout out. This is your shout out. Are you happy? I did it for you. Okay. Have a good time, everybody. I'll, I'll see you in the near future. Because that's where I am. I'm in the future right now. Actually, this is the past. When you watch it, it'll be a couple days ago. Like, it'll be like... I film this on Wednesday or Thursday, whatever day it is. I don't go by days in the summer. So peace out, everyone. Bye.